You've probably heard the news by now, but if you haven't, Anthropic is finally back again with a new model release. Introducing the Claude 3.7 Sonnet. I've actually tested it out and made a full video on it before recording this video, and I definitely recommend that you take a look at it because it's hands down the best coding based model that's out there. Claude 3.7 Sonnet is a hybrid reasoning model that switches between instant responses and extended step by step thinking. Its extended thinking mode significantly boosts its performance in math all the way to coding, which is easily outpacing Claude 3.5 Sonnet and many other models like Rock 3, DeepSeek R1, all the GPTs, as well as O3 Mini. This model excels at coding and front end web development, where it scores a 62.3 percentage on Sway Bench and a 70.3 percentage with custom scaffolding, which is far surpassing the O1's 50 percentage on the Sway Bench test. With the larger as well as improved context awareness, it's the best coding model that's released. It doesn't have a larger context window, just a better context awareness. And the only downside is, is that it has a potential rate limit issue like before, but overall the pricing and the context window is still the same as the 3.5. But alongside with this new model release, Anthropic also introduced a new product, the Claude Code. This is a new agentic coding tool that works directly in your terminal. Claude Code understands your code base and it helps you code faster through natural language commands and integrating seamlessly into your development environment without requiring extra servers or complex setups. Some key features a part of this is that you have the ability to edit files and fix bugs in your terminal. You also have it so that it can make code base changes. You have the ability to ask it questions, run, as well as fixing tests, linting, as well as other commands, and so much more. In this video, I'll showcase how you can install Cloud Code onto your computer, as well as what you can actually do with it. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Let's get started now. There's a couple of prerequisites that we need to make sure that we have fulfilled. You can install this on most operating systems, Mac OS 10.15 plus, Ubuntu, Debian, or Windows through YSL. You need to also make sure that your hardware has four gigabytes of RAM minimum. And there's a couple of softwares that you'll need to have beforehand installed. You need to make sure that you have Python installed, Git installed, Node.js, uh, the version 18 plus, as well as VS Code. And essentially, once you have all these prerequisites fulfilled, you can easily get started. Also, all the specifics of this new model have been posted to my newsletter. I'm going to leave a link to this so that you can easily learn more about it. Now, this step is only for the people who are on Windows and who do not have YSL. To install this, it's super simple. What you'll need to do is just run the YSL space dash dash install command, and then you can go ahead and install the subsystem for Linux onto your Windows computer. But once you have it installed, follow through by opening up your command prompt. This works for Windows, Linux, and the other options. Go ahead and open up YSL in this case, or your command prompt. You then simply need to run this in your terminal, which is the npm install anthropic cloud code command. So go ahead and copy this and run this into your command prompt and click enter. Now I am facing a issue because it looks like I have been rejected from my operating system. So I will need to use the sudo npm command to bypass that with my password. So go ahead and paste in your password with the sudo command. And it looks like it has now installed the package, but in your case, you'll easily bypass it if you do not have any sort of requirement like mine. And you can easily go ahead and use npx as well. If you don't necessarily need a global install, you can just run the npx command and you'll be able to easily start up Claude code. Now, what you want to do first is read through what it has said. You need to get started and choose the text style that looks best for your terminal. So go ahead and open this up a little bit easier. You can select which one works for you better. In my opinion, I really like the light text. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in that. And now we have cloud code set up. You're going to need to set up the build based API. So you're going to need to provide an Anthropic API key. So go ahead to the console and generate one and make sure that you have it linked to a billing, meaning that you have it connected to a credit card. You simply need to uh, click enter and then it'll open up your browser. 
I'm going to need to blur this out, but basically it's going to then open up your console and it'll let you link up your console with a code that you can then paste in back into your terminal. Afterwards, you're going to be then welcome to Claude code. And essentially this is actually in research preview. It's a beta mode. And what you can do is start in your project directory and they showcase a command that can help you do this. Obviously it's with the CD and then your project name directory, and then you can run Claude to launch it. It's super simple just simply launch it with the cloud command and then you can start working with it but this is where you can then use cloud code as a developer partner and then provide clear context where you can ask it questions as well as have it so that it has relevant uh, context so that it can provide better assistance of your overall code base so we're going to go ahead and click enter and right now it says cloud code made may read files in this folder Reading untrusted files may lead to cloud code to behave in an unexpected way. With your permission, cloud code may execute files in this folder. So you can go ahead and click proceed yes. And afterwards, you can go ahead and enable automatic updates. And afterwards, you can go and have it enable automatic updates with the sudo uh, command. And now you have the ability to work with cloud kind. You can basically say, help me create a basic web app for me to track various uploads that I need to push on my YouTube channel. And we can go ahead and send this in and you can see that it's going to work on taking in this prompt with the different agents that have been deployed within my computer to help me execute this. So you can see that it's working on executing based off the terminal based commands. And in this case, it actually asks you if it can create this directory for you, which is the YouTube tracker app. So we can say yes. So click enter and then it's going to autonomously go ahead and work on developing this. So now it looks like it is working on editing the files necessary to create this. And we're going to go ahead and click yes. And over time, I'm going to be able to get the output of an application. So let's see what it ends up building for us. So it looks like it has finished installing everything that is necessary and it's going to go ahead and start the server. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes. And then we should be able to access it off of our local host within a couple of seconds. So once it starts up, I'll then launch it within my web browser. So I simply went over to my local host and it looks like it has finished creating the YouTube upload tracker. So this is where I can say a video on cloud code. I can provide a description. Make it so that this video focus focuses on the terminal AI Gensic app. And then we can say that this is something that I'm currently editing. And then we can give it a date for today and then add the video. And now you can see that it has created this. Now, obviously this is a really basic app, but it gets the gist of what you can actually do with the cloud coder. It's something that you can rapidly innovate and build as well as have it so that it has context of your overall code base, similar to how you would with Ader. And that's by simply giving it access to your directory, which we saw over here, where you can complete the authentication and then navigate to your project with the CD command. And then it has the ability to work with your overall workflow. So now to give you a better idea of what Pod could actually do is that you can actually provide a context of your full code base. In this case, right now, I had simply went into the path of my DeepSeek web crawler, which is an app that I created. And I am now having it go into that directory to see if it's going to be capable of finding any errors. And what's cool is that it gives you a summary of what your project is about. So I'm going to go ahead and send in this prompt and we're going to have Cloud Coder work on reading the path or like the file to see if there's anything that I can do to improve it. So by simply giving a context to my overall workspace, it was able to detect multiple errors and it's right now currently working on fixing almost everything. And the best part is you can work alongside with it to see if there's any improvements that you can work on. So right now I reviewed through all the new changes that it works on and then I accept it based off of if it is actually correct or not. But you get the gist of it. The cloud coder can work through your whole workspace and it can make the necessary changes for you autonomously. But that's basically a gist of how you can easily get started with Cloud Code. This is truly a great new agentic framework that Cloud has developed. I definitely recommend that you try it out. 
it's in research so they're going to continuously work on improving this but overall by being powered by the Claude 3.7 Sonnet model will definitely make it a really great option to work with and it's something that I definitely recommend that you try out maybe containing it in a proper workspace so it doesn't mess around with everything in your computer it would be ideal but this is something that I definitely request you to take a look at on your own so that you get a better idea of how you can use this but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed today's video make sure you take a look at the Claude 3.7 Sonnet blog post that I posted. Follow me on the newsletter for free. Subscribe to the Patreon. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.